three consecutive years in the postseason for the Oakland A's. Big lead again for Peralta. Holiday is safe lead at second. Adam Swayze. Getting ready for first pitch at Wrigley Field. It's the Phillies and the Cubs, and it's coming up next. It's been a hundred years of baseball and counting at this place, and the charm hasn't faded a bit at venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the East-leading Philadelphia Phillies and the Chicago Cubs. Hi again, folks. Matt Vaskersian here for what promises to be a good one. I'm joined by Eric Harris and Steve Lyons. And Eric, let's give the folks at home a look at what's happened in the first two games of the series. Yeah, you see, we're even at a game apiece. Yesterday afternoon's game was a fun one to watch. And I think this one should be equally entertaining. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies. As their order here this afternoon will look like this. And on the mound to try to tackle this lineup, there you see the numbers for the 6'6 right-hander Jason Hamill. Here's a look at the defensive alignment for the Cubs here. Ben Revere will step to the plate now as we're ready to get this one underway. Leading off for the Phillies, center fielder, number two, Ben Revere. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch today is taken for strike one. Eric, you take a look at the home side here as they take the field here this afternoon. They've been in a nice little groove winning three of their last four games. And after the loss in the opener of the series, that was a much needed win yesterday. So they can look to win this series and take two out of three if they can just take care of business here. No problem here, one away. Oh yeah, that one's going to sting a little bit. This pitch is coming hard in on him. And you can see he's way late getting that barrel through. So as it turns out, he's going to get more distance on the barrel of that bat than he does on the baseball. Chase Utley will stand in. And he wasn't much of a factor yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the loss. First pitch on the way. And here's a cold strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. Clear skies this afternoon. 84 degrees is our first pitch temperature. Now the pitch. And a curveball that he didn't get on top of there. It's one and one. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or too far outside, then it's just an easy take. Yeah, and you know, that's a nice play back there behind the plate. For a big guy, look how quickly he springs to his feet, gets rid of that mask, and then he finds the ball here to make the throw to first to get his man. Brandon Jordan will step forward now. Currently third in the National League batting race to begin playing. First pitch coming. Here's the first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. There you see the league leaders in hitting we touched on a moment ago.
Bases are empty here with two men out. 1-0 on the way. And that's inside. Looked like the slider, and it's 2-0. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Here he comes on 2-1. and one. Good swing there, but this is foul off to the right side. Here's the two and two offering. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. And that's the spot that he's just going to have to keep wearing out going forward. If he can keep running that pitch in on the guy's hands, he's going to be fine. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Now a swing, and oh boy, ground balls have ruled the inning. A third straight right here. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. A look there at the starting lineup for the Cubs now. There at the starting pitcher charged with facing these guys as his numbers are on your screen. Now we'll look at the way the Phillies will line up behind him. Tommy LaStella will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. E.K., as we take a look at our visiting club as they take the field here in this scoreless ball game. They suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still 6-2 and two over their previous eight ball games. And they've got themselves a pretty good-sized lead in the division coming into play. Certainly not out of reach yet, but they've got to be pretty comfortable with where they're sitting at this point in the year. Now the 2-0. And he pops it up back behind second base. Franco is in his tracks now. One down. These are the ones that are hard to swallow. You've got the count in your favor. 2-0, and oh, you get a fastball right down the pipe and wind up popping it straight up. And that's a missed opportunity, folks. Big time. Dexter Fowler will get his first opportunity here. And as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin playing. Now here's the first pitch. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Howard is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Whatever he's doing out there, it's working out for him. That back-to-back pop-ups here to start the inning, and he's just making it look easy. Anthony Rizzo will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. First pitch to him. And this is fouled straight back. Two out, nobody on. And the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. 
Here it comes. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We've played an inning. No score. Michael Franco will stand in looking for a bleeder, a bloop single, anything to kickstart the average a bit because he's had a rough go of it these past six ball games. Now here's the first pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now here's the pitch. And this will be fouled away. The pitch. And a bouncing ball, foul. Here's another 0-2. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. Now here's the pitch. Low for a ball as he battles back from down 0 2 to even it up at two balls and two strikes now. And again, they try to take him down in the strike zone just to see if he'll go after that pitch below the knees. But with two strikes, he's been able to lay off that thing now twice in a row. Mm. Three and two. Yeah, he had him in good position here. 0 and 2 to start the inning. He just can't seem to finish him off. Here's the full count offering. And now the bat explodes as this has popped up. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Well, let's just see if we can slow this way down and see the point of impact. He's going to be bunched up a little bit on this one and get it right down below the label. And sure enough, that's a great shot right there. This bat just explodes on impact. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Yeah, those are the ones you like to start in that bat, especially your first time up. I agree. Give me a nice, easy one in the dirt that I can take so I can really get ahead in that count early. 1-0 pitch now. Fastball no, high, and it's quickly 2-0. Oh, Now the 2-0. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. That's a great call there on 2-0. The whole world's thinking fastball, but they drop the hammer on him. The 2-1 home. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first will be in time to retire Beltre, and there's out number two. Now, these infielders have been busy early on, and that's another ground ball out for them. Probably not going to be the last one we see either. Salvador Perez will stride in now. He drove in his guy's lone run of the ball game yesterday afternoon. Now, the first pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. 1-0. 2 0 Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really, this has been one of the few guys that's even been ahead in the count. The 2-0. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Fowler is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Phillies down in order. 
We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Miguel Montero will stride in, hoping to stay hot as he came through with a four-hit contest yesterday afternoon. First pitch coming. First pitch of the inning misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1-0. The 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Yeah, he, he's looked at two close pitches. You get the feeling that this is the calm before the storm. I think he'll unload on this one if this thing is anywhere near the zone. Montero waits. Now the pitch. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Now this one sets up a big pitch because you don't want to lose that leadoff guy in a scoreless ballgame. The 3-1 coming. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Yeah, that's nice to see a little patience up there. These guys have been what I would call overly aggressive these first few innings. Finally, somebody's figured out the importance of maybe taking a pitch or two. Javier Baez will get his first shot here with the runner on following the leadoff walk. First offering on the way. Yeah. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh, and, and after a walk, I think there's a little anger behind that fastball. He's set, now the pitch. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. A runner at first with no outs here. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Jordan is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. And you know, he's kind of going through a stretch right now where the ball just isn't jumping off his back. He's got a good pitch to hit right here. Looked like he put a good swing on it, but it just didn't go anywhere. Ryan Sweeney will take his first cuts here with the runner still at first and one away now. And here's the first pitch. Fouled straight back. From the stretch. Here's a line drive that will get over the head of Utley and on into right center, a base hit. And the funny thing about this at bat, he does everything wrong on this swing. I mean, first off, this pitch is out of the strike zone, and secondly, he, he tries to pull it instead of taking it the other way. Anyhow, pays off for him. In now, Jonathan Herrera, as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. The average down at an even 220, four home runs and 22 RBIs. Stay out of the double play. Has a look, now the pitch. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. And you figure to see that change up more and more as this day progresses. And 
the first time through the lineup, you want these guys to know that you've got this pitch in your arsenal. Sometimes pitchers want to hold on to pitches and not show everything right away, but here, you want these guys to be thinking, I know he's got that changeup, so I'd better not sit on the fastball too often. Here comes another 0-2. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. Now another 0-2 on its tailor-made to short. Six, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Cubs strand one. We'll move to the third with no score. Dominic Brown will stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Now the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Now here it comes. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. Pitch on the way. Too high. One and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. One, two. Swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt as they'll need to throw down to first. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Kind of a double-edged sword right there. He wants to bounce a curveball to get a swing through, and he gets it, but then he's got to worry about that ball maybe getting away. Fortunately, that's a nice play to keep it close and get the runner out at first. Here's big Ryan Howard now. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Getting on base, a big problem as you see the average there. 11 home runs and 37 RBIs. And the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. Fouled back. Here comes a 1-2. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. And he was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. Ethan Martin will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. First pitch to him. And this is going to be a foul ball. And now a pitch on the way. Ball one. 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 Yeah, it, it's so easy to get caught reaching on that pitch. We've seen a few of his teammates do it already. That's a great job to recognize slider and lay off. The 1-1 one, one home toward the hole here and into right field and they dent the hit column here for the first time. It's a base hit. Leave it to the pitcher to finally get him a base runner. It was eight up, eight down before he stepped in and he's saying, what's so hard about this? Here's Ben Revere. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. 
Well, you got to remember, the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Paws now to pitch. Swing, and he pulls the fastball high in the air toward deep right center. And the catch made there by Sweeney as that will retire the side. One left for Philadelphia. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Chris Denorfio will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. First pitch coming. Lays off 1-0. and Boy, I don't know that I'd want to be facing this guy right now. He looks pretty fired up out there. Yeah, he, he looks like he could run that fastball through a brick wall. That's right. Wait for your pitch. one -oh on the way. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And one away now here in the Chicago third. And, and this is right where they wanted this thing. You see it on show track there? They wanted to take him up around the letters hoping for the pop-up and that's exactly what they got. Standing in now, Jason Hamill. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. And I think he'll keep riding that pitch until these guys prove they can do something with it. All right, Jason. Here it comes. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Now the one and one pitch. Very two and one. high, two and one. Now the two one pitch. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. The three and one pitch. 3-1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3-2. Hey, give him credit up there. He's going to take his hacks. Now the payoff pitch home. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two gone now. Hey, if you like a good pitcher's duel, it looks like we've got one brewing right here. Two outs now in the bottom of the third, and both of these guys look like they have their good stuff. Tommy LaStella will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. Here's the first offering. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. The 1-0. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Ready now on one and one. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Well, that's just unfair right there. I mean, most guys throw a 91-mile-an-hour fastball. He's throwing a 91-mile-an-hour slider. The 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Revere will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Cubs are down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless.
the pitch. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. Not much to shout about for either team here as we start the fourth inning. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, I think we kind of knew that pitching might take the upper hand here. Maybe not to this extent, but both guys have really thrown the ball well. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. The 2-0 on the way. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. 2-1. and one. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on 2-0, and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Oh, and he drives one into deep right center. And he is going to have extra bases to start the fourth. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. So he's in the scoring position here on that double that kicks off the fourth inning. And as our graphic will illustrate in terms of team rankings, he's currently second best on this Philly ball club in that department. Brandon Jordan will stand in now with a good chance to break the seal here following the leadoff double. Well, it's a good RBI opportunity, but you've got to remember your first job, which is to at least get that guy over to third base. That runner's leaning. First pitch on the way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And you know, all you have to do is point back to yesterday's ball game. This was part of their downfall, hitting with runners in scoring position. They just couldn't sustain any kind of offense. So this would be a big boost if he could turn the tide a little bit here and come through big. Check swing, but he ball held ball up in strike. time, ball one. And you know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. And that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Down low again, it's 2-1. Oh, with every pitch it misses, he just keeps digging himself a deeper and deeper hole. Now the 2-1. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, 3-1. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. This is where you need to pounce. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. The 3-1. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. the three and two pitch and he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses it's ball four and for as hot as this guy's been recently <laughs> this is a no-brainer take the bat out of his hands any chance you get Michael Franco will stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning and on the mound he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far so this might be his first real test of the ball game Here's the first offering. In there, 0-1. Oh uh, good pitch right there, right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. First and second here with nobody out. Make him hit the ground ball! Comes set, now the pitch. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. The relay, not in time as he beats the throw by his step. Yeah, that's good hustle getting down the line. A double play could have really put the brakes on this rally, but he's able to beat it out on the back end just to keep things going here. So one out here with runners at first and third, and digging in the third baseman, Adrian Veltre. From the belt, kicks and deals. 
And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Now at the plate, you're looking for something up in the zone. Try and keep it in the air. Make sure you don't hit into a double play. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Now the 0 and 2 to Beltre. And Beltre wisely lays off that one 1 and 2. Not a real good 0 2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Runners are at first and third, one away. Here's the one, two. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. And the run will score as the Phillies are off to a one nothing lead. Well, the offense for these guys has kind of been like you, Steve, all year long. Been on vacation. They didn't get much going yesterday at all. They've been shut down pretty well in this one, too. But finally, a little hope as they're on the board here with the RBI single. First pitch coming. Salvador Perez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Come set, now the pitch. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hack. He's ready now, the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. There's Herrera for one. Back to Rizzo, and they get out of it here. A double play to retire the side. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back for more from the north side after this. Dexter Fowler will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch to him. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now here's the pitch. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Now a foul tip that's held onto with the plate, and the count moves to 1-2 and two now. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Here we go. Pops this one up, just beyond the infield on the right side. Under it now is Utley. And he puts it away for the first down. We'll check out that one-two pitch again and show motion. This pitch is up around the letters, and you'll see that back elbow drop down a bit, kind of drag through the zone. That's what causes him to pop it up. Anthony Rizzo stands in now as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. home up top it's 2 and 0 here comes the 2 0 outside 3 and 0 now and even on 3 and 0 it's no given that he's going to be taken up there we've seen him go after pitches in this spot before he's not going to hold back Three and nothing pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. 
And it's gone. Green light was on, 3-0, and he didn't miss it. Solo home run here for Anthony Rizzo. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Cubs are back to even now with one run apiece. He just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. Here's the catcher now, Miguel Montero. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One out, nobody on. Here's the 1-0. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Yeah, he started to go up the ladder there, but then he realized in time that he wasn't going to get there. Two zero on the way, and he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. A two one offering, and this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. There to get it is Utley. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. And so after getting the ground ball with the fastball on that last pitch, that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Javier Baez dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now here's the first pitch. In there for strike one. Now here's the pitch. Grounded to third. Up with it is Beltre. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. The Cubs get a run courtesy of Anthony Rizzo. We're through four, all even now at 1-1. Dominic Brown will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Number nine, Dominic Brown. Now, here's the first pitch. First pitch hacking here. And that From that pitch here in the last few innings, you got to think about bringing that one right back. Now, the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's 1-2. and two. Oh, He's just cruising out there now. I'll tell you, this may turn into a game of first team to two wins. Now the 1-2. Breaking ball as this runs in on him, and he has to step out of the way that time. Please, Hamill, don't hurt him. Two, two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Well, that pitch is so low and such an easy take that you basically waste that opportunity you had on two and two. Payoff pitch coming. 
And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave him a pretty good battle up there, and he never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run, you can't. Ryan Howard will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the first pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. The next pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Lead off man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game. 1-1 one, one on the way. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. And that alone can be beneficial to an offense. The 2-1 now to Howard. Now about a 58-foot breaking no pitch that he wisely lays off here. Well, from 1-1, one and one, now you miss with two straight. You've got to be extra sure now that this is in the strike zone so you don't put a second guy on base to start this inning. Now the 3-1. Yeah. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full 3-2. and two. But This is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92-93. Full count pitch on its way. Hit hard, but fouled off to the left, and that'll keep you honest as a third base coach. The payoff pitch one more time. Swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Denorfia will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. The, the first thing a pitcher does when he walks out of the tunnel here at Wrigley, he'll take a look at those flags and, and see which way they are blowing. I mean, this place, it can play like two totally separate ballparks from one day to the next. Ethan Martin will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. First pitch coming. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Here's a 1 0. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Here's the 1 1. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed 2 and 1. Here comes the 2-1. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at 2-2. Two and two. He's set. Now the pitch. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. Three, two pitch. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. And this is something we've seen before. He'll be sailing along, then all of a sudden his control will come completely desert him. Not sure if that's a physical deal or a mental deal, but either way, it's not a good sign. Ben Revere will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Go get him. And here's the first pitch. He'll one hold ball, off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box, so it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. 
One run on three hits and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Here comes the 1-0. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much and it's 2-0. And, and one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose them and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Three and oh now. The alarm bells are ringing now. They're getting louder and louder, too. Runners are at first and second with one away. Here comes the 3-0. There's a strike as he gets this one over. It's three and one now. That might take the anxiety away for the moment, but he's going to need a couple more here to prove to himself that he's not losing it. From the belt, the pitch, and he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Well, we knew he had to work carefully with the runner in scoring position, but I don't think a walk was what he had in mind. That's going to make things just a little trickier now with the bases loaded. Bases are loaded here with one away. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. Now the first pitch. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. He's ready. Now the pitch. Not close. It's 2-0. You get the sense he's starting to panic a little bit out there. He's not following through on any of his deliveries, and some of his pitches aren't all that close to the strike zone. Don't give it away here. Bases are loaded here. One man out. Utley waits. Here's the 2-0 pitch. And he gets the slider over here. It's 2-1 and one now. Yeah, definitely taken all the way. Not a bad it's idea with the bases loaded. Right Ready with the 2-1. And ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's 2-2. Two two. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine. But you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working it. And hold that thought as this ball is through the infield for a base hit. One run is scored. They will hold the other runner at third, but it's a two-run double. And with it, they've taken a two-run lead. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And that's going to be off for Jason Hamill. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Edwin Jackson is going to take over here at inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Brandon Jordan will be the first to face him here as he'll stand in with two men in scoring position and only one away. First offering on the way. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Oh. That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys will pop up and that's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. The 1-0 pitch. That's no, wide, 2-0. Looks like he's not going to see anything here. Yeah, I don't think so either. They gave him two shots to see if he'd go out of the zone to try to chase. And after that, I'm thinking they should just put him on. Here's the 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. And you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here. If you go ahead and walk him, you're loading the bases for your cleanup hitter. Here it comes, the 3-0. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Shortstop, 
Michael Franco will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. And now the Cubs' bullpen will start working here as both a lefty and a righty are up. First pitch to him. And obviously looking for the ground ball here as this misses low. It's 1-0. and Just because he's thrown five straight balls doesn't make this an automatic take, especially for a guy in this part of the lineup. Now the 1-0 lays off again, and it's 2-0. Well, he's starting to put himself into a no-win situation. Obviously, you don't want to walk home a run, but you can't just throw a cookie in there because he could bring in four with one swing. Here we go. Start, go. Hitters count 2-0. And, right. and there's the first strike, 2-1. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. Bases are loaded with only one out. 2-1. Oh, and this could be trouble now. It's 3-1. and one. In danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen. Not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. The 3-1 is on the way. Ah. Fastball in there, 3-2. and two. DK, where are you going now on 3-2? and two? I still got to work a corner. Not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. Three-two with the bases loaded. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Sweeney has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. A block at the plate, and he's out trying to score. It's a double play, and the inning is over. So two runs on just one lone hit, no errors, and a couple of men left. Home half is on top, three to one. Ryan Sweeney stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. First pitch coming. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0-1. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. And this is bounced fouled at the plate, and that moves the count to 0-2 now. And now a pitch on the way. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Ready with another 0-2. Fouled back. The next 0-2. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Wow, talk about a difference that 24 hours makes. Yesterday, these guys were hitting everything in sight, but things sure have changed this time around. They haven't been able to get anything going at all. Jonathan Herrera will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first offering. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Here's the 1-0. 2-0 now. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. That was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. Now the 2-0 home. Over the outside half, and it's 2-1. But you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. Here it comes, two and one. 
A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will be taken in by Brown as he's got it for the second out. Well, you know, he had the right idea up there, so at least you know he's thinking. He tried to go the other way with this ball, but he got under it just a little bit, and it's an easy play out there in left field. Christian Orfeo will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. First pitch on the way. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Here it comes. One and one. Yeah, trying to go front door with that breaking ball. Started it a little too far inside, though. A one one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Right-hander deals on one and two. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. But this will land in foul territory. Still one and two. Pitch on the way. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. He'll try again one, two. And this is swung on and missed, though he will need to do a little housekeeping at first. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2-3 to three for good measure as the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They still trail it here, 3-1. to one. Adrian Beltre will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Third baseman, Adrian Beltre. First pitch coming. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Now the 1-0 pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Now the 1-1. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here comes the one two. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here's another one two. Swing and a miss by Beltre for strike three as he's retired. First full inning to work for him here out of the bullpen. Now remember, he got the final two outs of the last inning. He starts this inning off right by getting the swinging strikeout. Salvador Perez will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Here's the first pitch to him. And that misses inside 1 and 0. One oh on the way. That missed close. It's ball two. Yeah, a little unlucky here to be behind 2 and 0. Those first couple of pitches haven't missed by a whole lot. Here comes the 2-0. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's 2-1 and one now. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. Well, in most cases, once he kicks this thing, it's going to be a sure error. 
But luckily for him, he's got a diesel tanker headed down the first baseline. So he's able to gather this thing up and still get the out at first. Dominic Brown will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. Now here's the first pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. Now here it comes. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Here's the 2-0 pitch. And here's a fastball for a strike, 2-1 and one now. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. We're in the sixth inning here in a 3-1 ball game. Ready on 2-1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw won't get him. Well, you'll get another look at this. This ball's hit sharply, so it gets on him pretty quickly. He's able to knock it down, but they weren't going to have a play after that. That should go down as an infield single. Here's big Ryan Howard now as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. From the stretch. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in center. Yeah, after the base hit, I think he's got one eye on the runner to see if he's going to take the turn at second, and he winds up kicking this thing out of lack of concentration. That allows the guy to advance anyway. Ethan Martin will get a shot now in an RBI spot, so a chance to help his own cause here. And he's got a hit in the game already, so he can handle the bat at least a little bit. Here's the first offering. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Comes set, now the pitch. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Has a look, now the pitch. And a swing and a miss is all he could do is reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Phillies leave a couple, and it's still 3-1. to one. Starling Castro is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Starling Castro! Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Fastball in there for a called strike. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. And this offense has pretty much been shut down here into the sixth inning. That's uh, just their third hit of the ball game, so... 
time has come for them to start trying to put something together. Tommy LaStella will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Now the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. That is one of the best he's thrown this afternoon. Nobody out, runner on first. He's set, now the pitch. That's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in there knee-high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. Pause, now the pitch. Goes the other way as this is lined to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. And you know, he really doesn't have to throw that changeup all that much for it to be an effective pitch. And you can see what his breakdown is so far. Dexter Fowler will dig in again. He popped up in his first plate appearance and flew out last time around. First pitch coming. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's set, now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And if he's getting tired, it's not showing in his slider. That pitch is still as tight as it was in the second inning. He's ready now, the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And with that, that'll push his hit streak to a modest six games. Anthony Rizzo will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. Now here's the first pitch. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. I'll say this. He wasn't going to get his arms extended on that one. 1-0 pitch now. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Does he dare go fastball here 2-0? I think he's got to. Trouble spot here, the 2-0. Fouled back. First and second now, one man out. Here he comes on 2-1. and one. Line hard to center field. And that's in there, base hit. Around third and being waved on hold. The relay and the run will score from second as they cut it to one at 3-2 now. This guy's been their lone bright spot offensive. Second RBI of the game, he's driven in each of their two runs. So we've got runners at the corners here, one away, and stepping in now is the catcher, Miguel Montero. And here's the first pitch. And a strike called at the letters. Look high to me, but it's nothing in one. Here we go, Here we go. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Another fastball. Another cold strike. Nothing in two now. Yeah, and it doesn't look like he's trying to get a ground ball here. He's coming right after him, trying to get a punch out. Montero waits. Now the pitch. 
Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. Let's go right back now. Let's go now. Face it here. Big pitch here, one and two. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Wow. A real sharp break for this thing. It's a slider. He starts it out over the middle of the plate. Now the hitter thinks he's got something that he can handle, and then this thing just makes a beeline right for his hands. That is a tough pitch. Here's Javier Baez as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. He'll send it the short way to Utley at second, and that's that. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Phillies three and the Cubs two. Welcome back here to the historic, friendly confines of Wrigley Field. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Blake Parker is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Ben Revere will lead it off here for Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. The 1-0. A ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. Boy, you talk about a ball having eyes. First off, he's fortunate to get this one by the pitcher. It's not hit especially hard, but you'll see it get past second base where neither middle infielder can track it down. And it'll make its way into center field. Chase Utley will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. First offering on the way. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Ready? Now the pitch. Right back with another fastball. It's 0-2 now. He just might be up there taking pitches, waiting for that base runner to go, but he's not going to be able to take any more. Come set. Now the pitch. That ball's found. And they'll try to get Utley to chase, but he holds off. It's one and two. And that works almost like a pitch out there. You know, just in case he's thinking about it. From the stretch. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Now another 1-2. Swing and a liner. Foul. Again, a 1-2. To two balls and two strikes now. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a 1-2 and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. The 
2 2. And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's 3 and 2. And you know what, guys? This is a big league battle going on right now. Neither guy wanting to back down. No sign of weakness on either side. Three and two, here it is. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. One there, relay to first is in time to erase Utley as well, a double play. And that was quite a battle up there. He made him throw a ton of pitches. But advantage pitcher here as in the end, he gets him to ground into the double play. Brandon Jordan will stand in, base on balls his last time. First pitch to him. And ooh, looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Here's the pitch. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. One one pitch on the way. Fastball called strike. One and two. One, two. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Another one-two delivery. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. Down quickly go the Phillies, and it remains a three-two ball game. Ryan Sweeney will stand in now. He's singled and struck out in two trips. Right fielder, Ryan Sweeney. Now the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Now here's the pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Here's the one-one pitch. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. The 2-1. Yeah. And this one is over, and he works the count back to 2-2. Two and two. Mm, A little conviction behind that fastball. Here's the 2-2 two and two home. Ball. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Yeah, it's a good battle to start this inning. That's what you like to see when you've got a guy out there that's getting up there in the pitch count. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Chopper foul. Full count pitch on its way. And he lays off. Ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. You know, when you're holding on to a slim lead, you just can't walk the leadoff guy. I mean, those are the ones that really come back to hunt. So he's really going to need to work towards getting a ground ball here. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Ken Giles will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Ken Giles.
Jonathan Herrera will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. As a look, now the pitch. And they'll play for the tie here as he puts this one down. Throw goes to first here, so it works just as they drew it up. And now the possible tying run is in scoring position at second. Well, pretty clearly just playing for the tie right here. And it's a nice job there of getting the bunt down. So the tying run's up to scoring position now with just one out. Kristen Orpia will have a shot at driving home that possible tying run that's standing at second. First pitch coming. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. One one home. Slider. Oh, look out as that one just about took his nose off. The one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. The two one home. Right. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Boy. Good pitch, good spot. That thing tailed right back over the outside corner. Okay, take off the Here comes a 2-2. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Now he knows his job is to hang on to the lead for his team, but with a guy in scoring position, he's got to do something to come up big. Not a whole lot bigger situation to come up with a strikeout than right there. He's fired up about it, but he's still got some work to do right now. He's not out of this thing yet. Jorge Soler will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 68, Jorge Soler. Hardy there, no balls and a strike. Now he might have been on the on-deck circle just saying, man, I get one at-bat it's against this guy? Thanks a lot. He waits, now the pitch. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Tough pitch right there. That's 96 in on the hands. You just got to let that one go. the one and one pitch and this is pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats runner in scoring position at second with two down here comes a one two swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning one left for the Cubs still a three two ball game Neil Ramirez is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Michael Franco will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. And yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty darn good job against him in this series. Now here's the pitch. 
crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Ready now on one and one. And they'll try to go away with this one, but it misses as well, and it's to two and one now. Now the 2-1 pitch. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Therefore, it is Sweeney as he takes it for the first down. And the fact that they're playing no doubles defense might have helped him out right here. This is a much tougher play if he's at his regular depth, but he ranges back to put this one away. Adrian Beltre will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch on the way. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. One oh on the way. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike and it's all knotted up at one and one. Here's the one and one now to Beltre. He takes the change up the other way out toward right center. And that gets down out there for Beltre. Could be extra bases. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one out double. Oh, nice job there. His second hit of the game. And he's going to keep moving up that all time doubles list as he picks up another one right here. Salvador Perez will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Come set, now the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. He's now at 23 doubles on the year. one -oh. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and -oh. Two -oh count, the pitch. Three and oh now. He knows the drill out there. You gotta make him swing the bat. Cannot be giving up walks at this stage of the game because those could be fatal. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Here he comes on three and oh. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. The 3-1. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full 3-2. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again, 3-2. Runner at second here with one man out. Payoff pitch one more time. Well hit to right. But that's a foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Well, that's okay. You would have liked him to chase on three and two. But you had your base open here, so now you can really focus on getting yourself a ground ball. Jason Mott will get the call here as he'll take over with one gun in the top of the eighth. Dominic Brown will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gun. 
Has some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begins throwing. First pitch coming. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to first, and how about that for an entrance? One pitch, two outs, and the inning is over. Philly strand one, but they still lead it three to two. Tommy LaStella will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. This man out for his second inning of work, and why not? He set him down 1, 2, 3 the last time around. Right, and with two strikeouts mixed in there as well. Just let him keep going. And now a pitch on the way. Now he turns on a fastball here and sends it to deep right field. Jordan is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Dexter Fowler will dig in. He singled his last time around. Now here's the first pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. The 1-0 home. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's 1-1. One one. Credit where credit's due. This guy's done a good job out of the bullpen. No question. He's been able to hold that lead, and these guys really haven't threatened him at all. Bases are empty, one man out. The 1-1. One, one. Now a ball sprayed foul into the seats near third. One-two pitch coming to Fowler. Now a swing, and he pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two. This is where your setup man works as the perfect bridge to your closer. He's retired five in a row now since coming in at the seventh. Anthony Rizzo will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. Here's the first offering. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. The pitch. And he lays off for ball one. Well, that's not a real favorable call for him right here. It's one thing when you're facing a lightweight hitter up there, but facing a guy like this... The difference between 1-1 one and 0-2 one and oh and is huge. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. A little bit outside. 2-1. and one. And that's not a bad spot. Just go ahead and stay out there. Don't come down the middle because we know he can hurt you. Here's the 2 1 pitch. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Now the 3 1 home. Connie bailed him out with a swing, 3 and 2 now. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that one. Three, two, here it comes. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order. They're down three to two. Ryan Howard 
We'll get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. The first baseman, number six, Ryan Howard. Now the first pitch. And a bouncing ball, foul. Now the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. On to first, and the Howard shift pays off there. One away. And right here, if the defense is playing straight up, you figure this has a good chance to get up the middle. But you can see the shortstop lining up just to the right of second base, so the shift works to a tee, and they get the 6-3 put out. Damian Trejo will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Damian Trejo. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. The one oh. And he watches one miss outside, two and oh now. One out, nobody on. Now the 2-0. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. A 2-1 offering. And that's upstairs, running the count to three and one. You're really wasting a lot of bullets on a guy that you should get out fairly quickly. You gotta go right after him. Get him out of here. Here he comes, 3-1, and he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Ben Revere will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch coming. Good way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. Now the pitch. Now a check swing here in a little looper. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Well, that'll be a frustrating at bat for him. I mean, he's got to be thinking he let one get away there because you know that's a pitch he should have been able to handle. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and making his way in is the second baseman Chase Utley. Here's the first offering. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. He's set, now the pitch. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Yeah, he hit a good pitch there. This thing's toward the outside part of the plate, but he stays with it all the way. Uses the big part of the field and gets himself a base hit. Stepping in now, Brandon Jordan. And yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Nail-binding time now in that third base dugout. Well, things are starting to spiral here, and you've got to make sure this doesn't spin completely out of control. Here's the 1-0. -oh. 
He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. And it's gone! So a three-run shot to right center field. 12 home runs for him now thus far as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. That is gonna hurt. They've been waiting for that one hit with runners on base, and that could very well be the one that winds up sealing the deal. That's gonna make this a four-run ball game. Pedro. Number nine. Into the box now, Michael Franco. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch and the inning is over. But the Phillies use the long ball here and they get three on this three-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Cubs. It's the Phillies six and the Cubs two. Jake Diekman will be the new pitcher. Number 63, Jake Diekman. Miguel Montero will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Hard to call that an off-speed pitch when it's a changeup at 88. That's a fastball for a lot of guys in this league. Montero waits, now the pitch. And this is swung on and missed that time by Montero. No balls and two strikes now. You have to figure that sinker's going to be an important pitch for him here this afternoon. No question about it. Obviously, it's his ground ball pitch, so if you're a hitter, you're going to need to make him bring that pitch up a bit. And this is going to be a foul ball. Another 0-2 home. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. This bullpen's picking right up where their starter left off. This has been a real team effort on the mound. Javier Baez will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. And here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Here's a 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. The 2-0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. To 2-2 two and two now. Oh, and he's sure got a good one, doesn't he? That ball goes from about knee-high to ankle-high in the matter of about five feet. Bases are empty, one man out. The 2-2 two -two coming. 2-2 two -two pitch pulled on the ground down to third. Right there is Beltre. Throw on to first, gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. There's nothing easy about this play right here. It's a high chopper, so he knows he's going to have to field and throw pretty much all in one motion. And he does so here to get his man. That's a nice play. In now, Ryan Sweeney. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one.
Here comes the 1-0. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. These have both been easy takes so far. Neither one of these pitches really approaching the strike zone. Now the 2-0. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's 2-1 and one now. These guys would like to at least get someone on base here in this bottom of the ninth. You've got to make them sweat a little. Now the 2-1. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Two out, nobody on. Now the 2-2 pitch. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Jonathan Herrera would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Now the three and two pitch. And this one misses inside a ball he walked in, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Hey, that's a great job to work out the walk there. If that's one thing managers like to see gotta die hard at the plate even down to your final out you never know in this game Jonathan Herrera will stand in here he's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point now here's the first pitch and this is taken outside for ball one knock it out Joe the next pitch. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Here's the 1-1. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But a foul ball, 1-2 and two now. Here's the lefty's offering on 1-2. and two. Close, but it's not over yet. That's ball two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking on the final out, so that's a tough pitch to lay off. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. Here he comes on two and two. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Two, two, one more time. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first. He'll take care of him. And the Phillies have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. Big bat for the Phillies this afternoon belonged to this fella, Chase Utley. Can't ask for much more. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, you see he finishes with a three-hit game, including a double. That's a line that's worthy of taking home the award.